This next question is from Robin. And the question is, I love your movie, Blue Velvet. At what point during the development of the film did you decide to use the Roy Orbison tune in Dreams? And are you a longtime Roy Orbison fan? Robin, I think from Florida, <clears throat> asks about <clears throat> the song In Dreams in Blue Velvet. At what point did I decide to use it? And am I a long, was I then, and am I now a longtime fan of Roy Orbison? And answer that first. I loved Roy Orbison from the first time I heard his music and I uh, kind of grew up, you know, with Roy Orbison. And I remember exactly when I decided to use In Dreams in Blue Velvet. It started that I was riding in a cab with Kyle McLaughlin through Central Park. And on the cab radio came Crying by Roy Orbison. And I thought... Well, that, that is going to, I got to get, that could go in Blue Velvet. And as soon as I got down to Wilmington, North Carolina, I got Roy's Greatest Hits. And I listened to Crying, and I listened to some more cuts, and then I heard In Dreams. And everything stopped, and I said, this song, if ever there was a song that fit into this film, it's this this one, In Dreams. And that started a whole thing going that grew out of that song. And strangely enough, Crying came back again in Mulholland Drive. So, and I got the great pleasure of meeting Roy Orbison after Blue Velvet and if we're telling stories, um, that song in dreams meant uh, a huge amount to Roy, the lyrics and that song. And when he first saw Blue Velvet, he hated it. And uh, so some time passed and his friends said, Roy, uh, you should uh, listen and to, you should see that film again and see if you could appreciate it, you know, in a different light as well as the light that you, you know, love. And Roy is the kind of guy he was. He went and saw it again and he uh, saw it um, differently and and really loved it and so meeting Roy Orbison was really a thrill uh, because he's such a uh, gracious kind uh, just the kind of a, a really great soul and uh, everybody loved Roy Orbison. And um, he was, uh, oh, we were in a recording studio and we were redoing, that's another long story, but anyway, um, we were, he was re-recording in Dreams. And so, at, at around 5.30 or so, I kind of whispered to the engineer if there was a room I could go uh, to and be private and because I was going to go meditate. And uh, the engineer says, sure, and was ready to take me to this room. And Barbara Orbison came over to me and she said, what? what are you doing? And uh, I said, well, I'm going to go um, do my meditation. And she said, what type of meditation do you do? And I said, transcendental meditation. And she said, Roy and I do transcendental meditation. We're going with you. 
So I got to meditate uh, with them, and I got to meditate with the great Roy Orbison. 